Hi guys, welcome to January and February's budget breakdown. This is a segment of my channel where I like to showcase how I spent my money in the month of January and how I spent my money in the month of February. And I'll put my income streams up on the screen. I reference it back in October's budget breakdown. So here's just a refresher. And if you want to see me actually live out um, the ways that I make my income, I showcase that in my weekly vlogs. So we're going to start off with... Um, saying something really quickly before we get into the budget breakdowns um if you're like me if you're like me you like to know like how people are er earning their income how people are spending their income that's fascinating for me to see and that's actually really motivating because it could be a sense of um reassurance to see if like you're on the right track or it could be a motivation to see like okay i need to increase my income <laughs> you know what i mean or i need to find more streams of income or things like that in order to um um, I don't want to say like compare. I'm like, I don't like comparing, but I like, um, I like seeing how other people are doing so that I can, um, make adjustments for myself if I'm, if they're living a lifestyle that I would rather live myself. So, um, I did reference this back in a couple of my other videos as to, um, why I like to be transparent with my income, why I like to be transparent with my spending. I think it's very important. I don't think many people do it. I think it's nice to see. And also I think sharing like, you know, income and stuff like that. I feel like they, whoever they are, they don't want us to do that because it keeps us in classes. You know what I mean? Like poor, middle, upper class type of a thing and um, I feel like the more that we're transparent with our income the more we talk about it it kind of um, removes those kind of categories that we're in we can jump categories because we're able to see other people do it which is something that I did I saw a YouTube video where um, I followed a girl who was making like $17,000 a month in income and I was thinking I was cute over here making my little $4,000 a month but it it didn't occur to me that you could make that kind of income and so I uh, actively decided that I'm going to increase my income because she was living a lifestyle that I would rather live so ignore Douglas. Um, so, okay, let's get into January's budget breakdown. I'll put everything on the screen. In the month of January, our available spending was $23,351.92. We did roll over some money from savings. So I'll put my actual. So what I like to do is I like to put my actual earned income and then any transfers, um, I'll combine them. So my actual was $16,548.11 and then we rolled over um, money to max out my TFSA, which is what we have here in Canada. Um, and then what other things did we roll in? Um, and then my benefits, what did I use my benefit? Oh, massage, I got a massage. So I like to keep those in a high interest savings account so that I can get interest off of that. And then obviously I like to make sure that I'm um, able to utilize my benefits, even if I don't have the funding in the current month that I'm in. So I like to keep that separate and then I pull it in whenever I need to use it. And then I fund it back in a higher income month or I let my interest, um, <laughs> I let my interest, uh, you know, fund that if I need to. Douglas is very needy today. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them on the screen or you can't, but anyway, so I like to start off with savings first. So we're in January right now. I like to save up, start off with savings. So in the month of January, we saved $19,847.19 and it's broken up into my TFSA, my taxes, my savings goals, um, my HST that I collected and I'm saving for a down payment. So that's my main goals right there. And I got asked before, like, oh, why do I put my taxes into my savings? And that's a valid question. I mean, you don't have to do it, but I do it because everything that I put in my savings, I put in a high interest savings account and then I earn the interest off of that. So um, to me, that's no different than if I was saving for my sinking fund or or something like that, because it's planned spending anyway, like I'm going to end up paying that in a year. So I get to hold on to it for a year, make money off of it for a year. So I hold on to it. I consider it savings, even though it's going to be planned to spend just like my sinking fund. <laughs> 
Next is bills. So in my bills, we spent $2,003.13 and it's broken up into my rent, my hydro, my parking spot, my car, I mean, my uh, phone bill, my internet bill, and that's combined. And then my Peloton subscription. Peloton is the only subscription that I don't hold in my high interest savings account. All my other subscriptions I hold in a high interest savings account. Um, but that one is the only one that I can't get a yearly uh, charge off of. I like to, I like to spend i like to pay my bills for the year if i if there's an option to pay it for the year i'm gonna take it every single time because then it's one less bill in my monthly budget for me to budget in because that stuff adds up so next is my expenses so groceries we spent three thousand whoa we did not in groceries we spent three hundred and forty six dollars and thirty three cents Gas was one thirty three eighty four. Dog care, <laughs> Douglas, was one oh nine fifty nine. Uh, personal care one sixty seven twenty four. Personal care is my favorite spending area. And what did we do for personal care? Oh, we got a facial. <laughs> um, I definitely vlogged that. If you ever want to see, like, okay, like, how did she spend that money? Like, if you want to see it in real time, check the vlogs. <laughs> Um, next is takeout. We spent $62.33, which is really good. I'm really liking this like $60 takeout type things. It's, I like keeping it low. <laughs> um, social was $121.29. Um, I went to the movies with friends. We did VIP and we're like ball out, like, cause I budgeted for it. But whenever I budget for something, I'm like, okay, like I can spend it. Like it's, it's already taken care of. It's already handled. So you know what I mean? So we took full advantage of the VIP movie experience. Um, restaurants was 69.67 and I just ate out one time by myself. <laughs> um, household items was $28 and 85 cents. And that was, um, just like buying random things for the house, like toilet paper, paper towel, things like that. Um, shopping, sixteen forty eight. Subscriptions was $99. What was that for? Um, Spotify. Yeah, so I, I got a Spotify. I like, like I said before, I like to pay for the year and then not even think about it. Um, next, gifts was $50. Um, then my benefits, which, which I did pull in, was $204.81. And that was for a massage. And that's it for January's budget breakdown <laughs> so for the total what did we spend in total um my expenses total was fourteen hundred and nine dollars and thirty seven cents which is great um i'm trying to slowly get that down more and more and more every month and i know it's like when you look at my income you're just like well like you can spend it, it's fine um in my head i'm just thinking because i like to like the way i do my budget is very non-traditional I guess in a way so what I try to do is I try to save 80% and then I spend the 20 so if and that's how I I'm doing it right now it's, it's not something I'm probably always going to do but because I'm aggressively saving for a down payment that's the the trick that I'm doing that's helping me it's helping me save more than I thought I would have if I had it done another way so Right now we're spending the 20% and that 20% goes to my bills, the charity section, um, which is I didn't put into charity this month because it's a new section. It'll be introduced next month. Um, so bills, savings and charities all have to be fit under 20% and then 80% goes to savings category. So that's how I do it. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's move on. So let's do, oh, let me just mention something really quickly. So the way that I budget, and I know I mentioned this in like my TikToks and stuff, but if you're new to my channel, this YouTube channel, and you don't know the way that I budget, I budget um, living on last month's spending. So this technically, like this $23,351.92 that we spent in the month of January was actually earned in December. So I live on the month before. So Right now, it's March 3rd or something like that. I'm living off February's income. So <laughs> that's how I do it. Okay, so, um, and I do it that, that way. I, okay, this is the why I do it. I have an irregular income and, <laughs> Douglas, <laughs> I have an irregular income. So my, um, my, 
honestly, like my, my income can go from literally 4,000 a month to $40,000 a month in the same calendar year. And I don't like that idea of, um, you know, living off your lowest earned income because it kind of fluctuates between 20 and 30,000 at this moment a month. So I, um, I just prefer living on last month's income. That way I can start the new month already knowing like what my spending is going to be, what, how much I allocated to savings, things like that. So that works best for me. And it's not even for anyone who has an irregular income. I feel like anyone should do this because then you're eliminating living paycheck to paycheck. Like you don't have to, um, you know what I mean? You can take the time off work if you need to, because you're not thinking like, oh, if I need this paycheck, so I have to work. Like if I feel sick, I, I don't, I don't have to go into any of my other jobs if I don't want to, because I'm like, you know what, this is the money's already there for the funding for this month. This is already what's going to happen. So I did this. <laughs> okay, let's move on to October. October was a better month. October, February. What year am I in? Uh, okay, let's move on to February. I don't know why I said October. Okay, so for the month of February... Our total available to spend was $33,798.44. And we did a few transfers in. So my car insurance and my tenant insurance was, again, I pay it once for the year. Um, and then it handles all the other months. I don't have to pay for it every month. Um, so we transferred, that for, we transferred that in from my sinking fund. I like to hold it in there, earn the interest, like I mentioned. So our total earned income was 31,132 cents dollars <laughs> back up 31,132 dollars and 17 cents so starting off at savings first we saved 26,952 dollars and 5 cents which is really good um that's broken into taxes uh, my savings goals, HST collected. Um, I'm starting to put investing into my unregistered account because all my other non, um, all my other registered accounts are funded. For example, my TFSA is maxed out, and <clears throat> in my RSP, I um, I'm funding it at the end of the year. So, and I'm funding it from my business. My accountant told me that I can take a dividend from my business and max that out. So we're not focusing on that until January next year, which is, will be for this year. So that's already handled. So my investing is just going to be in an unregistered account. Um, and then my down payment, $16,470 and 33 cents. Next over to bills for bills. It's broken up into my rent, my hydro, parking, my internet and cell phone, and my Peloton subscription, and the car insurance and the tenant insurance. And that is what my bills are. So that my bills are were $4,410.57, which is like, ugh. I like to keep my total, oh my, I thought you can see them on the screen, but I like to keep my total, like, monthly spending as a total under four thousand dollars like 3500 is like the sweet spot so like even seeing that the bills alone was four thousand four hundred and ten dollars and fifty seven cents i'm like i don't know why that gives me anxiety <laughs> um let's backtrack to charity because i usually do savings first then charity then bills then expenses so charity which is a new section in my bills. Um, we put $1,041.89 into charity. I picked um, two charities, not char charities, I picked one charity, which is the stop here in um, Toronto. And we did the stop and it's like a food, like, um, um, like it's a food food charity, like uh, for food. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I'll like flash something on the screen right here so that I can explain it better. And then for giving, I did, um, there's this guy on TikTok and I'll put his thing on the screen as well. And he gives back to homeless people. And um, there's an option to uh, like, because I'm in Canada, I don't have, um, what do you guys have in America? Um, Cash app. I don't, we don't have that here in Canada. So um I was able to give it through the TikTok app um, and I gave him 
I don't know what it was in American, but in Canada, in Canadian, it showed up as $141.89. I think it was $100. I gave $100. Conversion came up to $141.89. That's insane for conversion. Okay, next expenses. So if for expenses, we spent $173.89 on groceries, which is insane. Okay, let me explain something. <laughs> I found the trick. I have the life hack to get your grocery bill down. And the thing about it is like, I'm more upset that I didn't think about this sooner because I would have saved so much money. I would have wasted less food had I been doing this earlier, but nobody told me. <laughs> so my grocery bill used to be $400 a month. And then I was like, okay, let me get it down to 300 because I'm wasting so much food. Like I would do my grocery trips. I would do probably two grocery trips a month and I would spend like 250 every time <coughs> sorry i would spend douglas we're recording here <laughs> i would spend 200 dollars 50 cents every single trip like around that area um just do like large grocery hauls and then i realized like oh I've, like when my neck by the time i'd grocery shop again it would be like I'd be throwing things out because I didn't eat it and or I wouldn't want it anymore. It didn't seem appetizing to me. So now I was just like, you know what, let me let me decrease my grocery bill. That way I can be forced to spend three hundred dollars rather than four hundred dollars. And then I realized the reason why my grocery bill is four hundred dollars is because I allowed myself to have a four hundred dollar grocery limit. So if I have a three hundred dollar grocery limit, then I'm in my brain, I'm like, okay, well, this is what we have to work with. Let's make it, let's make it work. And then I noticed that that was working combined with meal planning, which people are probably thinking like, duh, obviously meal plan. Um, <laughs> but I wasn't doing that before. So meal planning and cooking all my meals. So now when I grocery shop, I grocery shop only for the week. And I um, cook, as soon as I get home, I cook. And then I put any leftovers in the freezer. So my, my grocery bill was one seventy three eighty six, and I still had food left over, which is wild. Um, gas was one forty eight fifty one. Dog care was two hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty six cents, and um, Douglas got groomed. I don't know if you watch my vlogs; it's in the vlog. Um, but he got groomed. He looks so much better now. Before he looked like a stray dog, <laughs> and I'm surprised people didn't think he was. Um, let me show you. He looks so good. There he is. He looks, he looks so fresh. He looks so fresh. Okay. Um, next is, uh, personal care. I spent $417.84, 80, wow, 48 cents, four, $417.48 and 48 cents in personal care. And this is kind of a lot. I did go over budget by $34 because um, I, I planned on only spending $382. But um, what I do for personal care, again, it's my favorite category to spend in. Literally having something in my personal care category, which is like Sephora. Like when I say personal care, I mean like I'm getting a facial. I planned for Sephora. I'm buying skincare, like things like that. That's stuff makes me feel really excited like i get excited to spend in that category it's my favorite category to spend in so like when i when i have um you know when i put a lot of my money into savings and i have whatever's left over i don't feel like restricted because i know like okay i have something to look forward to next month okay so yeah so that was like skincare i went to sephora and stuff like that so that 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 was well spent no regrets no regrets um, next was $65.96 for takeout. Social was $11.14 and I went out for coffee once with a couple of friends. Um, I actually had somebody, um, ask me in the comment section of my latest TikTok, um, why I, I have a social category and an entertainment category. Like what's the difference between the two? And, um, the difference between the two is if I do anything with friends, I'm spending money with friends, that's social. So even if I'm getting coffee, coffee could be technically takeout, but 
If it's with friends, it's social. And the reason why I separate like that, and entertainment, if I go to the movies by myself, that comes out of my entertainment budget. But if I go with friends, that's social. <laughs> and even though they kind of overlap, it's like the same thing. It's a movie is a movie, right? A takeout is a takeout, right? But in my mind, the way I break it up or why I break it up is because I prefer to not like I don't want to say no to going out with my friends because I spent my money if that makes sense like like I live on a budget this is my lifestyle so I'm gonna stick with it and if I if a friend's like hey like you want to go to the movies and I already spent my entertainment um, budget on going to the movies because I went by myself or something like that I don't want to be like oh like I can't because I don't have it in my budget like I would rather have money set aside in social so that if anything pops up, I can be like, yes, absolutely, let's go, let's do this, whatever, you know? So that's how I do it. Um, next was fees and miscellaneous, $67. Oh no, sorry, I missed one. Um, household. <laughs> household was $193.79 and I got my house deep cleaned. Um, I mean, it was quite a lot. Okay, so my usual um, housekeeper, like I needed a cleaning on a specific day. So um, I went with a service that did a deep cleaning on that specific day. And I admit that is a lot of money <laughs> for a cleaning, especially when I'm used to not paying that much. So um, next was uh, $67.25. Oh, let me backtrack why I got my house cleaned. Um, I was just so busy like the week was so busy like I was acting on set I was um I had like a lot of bartending shifts I had I was focused on OU budget related things I was just like on the go a lot and having somebody handle that the cleaning for me was like it was like I don't want to say it was nothing you know what I mean it was expensive but having that handled I was just like you know what let me focus on things that make money <laughs> like right now let's just get this money because I can offset that task and focus on this and which is great because I'm going to go home to a nice clean house <laughs> so right now I'm in a hotel room as you can see this is not my usual spot but I had to come here to do some work we have like doing brand deal type stuff. So I had to shoot that here. That's why we're at the hotel. It's a business expense. This whole trip was a business expense. Minus like I did get a massage here because my birthday was on March 1st. So I did get a massage and I did have a dog sitter watch Douglas because the hotel provides that service. So I had those two. That's what I paid out of pocket, which is which, which will show up in my next month's budget. <laughs> um, so next, fees and miscellaneous, $67.25, and that was getting my jacket fixed. I had to rip my jacket, and um, what else? Um, I had to get a doctor's note. We had to pay for that. So um, next was gifts, $30, and that was, I think I, I gave somebody money. What did I give money to? I tipped somebody something. Um so that was that or was it a gift card why does my throat feel weird sorry um yes and then next was benefits forty dollars i went to the chiropractor and then i'm gonna get reimbursed for that i already submitted my receipts and that total the total amount was one thousand three hundred sixty five dollars and fifty five cents for what we spent which is interesting because the month before so january so like i said january we spent in the our expense category was 1409 dollars this month was 1365 dollars i'm trying to get it down every month because you no know, spend may is coming up and i don't want it to be like a shock like ah i'm spending no money so I, if i can get it lower and lower each month it'll make for no spend made to be a nice smooth transition and that's everything let me drink some more water um yeah that's that's everything so um i do want to talk more about no spend may and what that will entail but i feel like this video is a long a really long video so let's not uh share that until the next one i'll share that in another video but yeah 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining me. I mean, if you're like me, you like this kind of content. If you don't like this kind of content, I don't think you're, you'd be continue watching. (laughs) You probably wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? But yes. Um, I often see people like on social media who are like, Oh, like people who talk about their money, like they're bragging and stuff like that. And I think that's so far from what it is. I mean, if that's what they think, that's what they think. But honestly, I would not be making the money I make now if I didn't see somebody already sharing how they make their money. So like, I appreciate like when millionaires share like, oh my God, I I saw this one video, this, of this TikTok, this guy is like this rich guy, how he spends his, um, like 500 K salary. And I'm there soaking up every information. I'm just like, yes, tell me more. And then you did what? Okay. What are you investing in? How much real estate do you have? Like I'm, (laughs) I'm like taking notes because I'm like, I'm trying to get where you are. So give me the tea. I need, I need the information. Like, I don't see it as like, oh, this guy's bragging, like show off. Like, no, no, no. Like you're trying to give me tips and tricks and clues. I accept those and you're not paying and and you're not charging me for it. Thank you. (laughs) So (laughs) that's how I feel. I feel like transparency, honestly, like it really helps, especially for the type of person that likes to, um, implement like take action implement i'm that kind of i'm that kind of person so if you showed me that you're doing something you know and i i see that that's something that can work for me i'm going to copy and paste (laughs) so that's it thank you for watching um if you have any questions leave it below um if you're not already subscribed you know you could click that button if you want to, you know, I'm not begging for a subscription, but you know, (laughs) but anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to post the, well, it'll probably already be posted the vlog of my week and how I made this income. Um, you'll see bits and pieces of it as well. So thanks for joining. Okay. Bye. (laughs)